there's a line, a very powerful, a very compelling statement about the intensity with which things can change. There are decades where nothing happens and there are weeks when decades happen. And I'm speaking of how a love relationship can profoundly alter the course of your life. You may go through life for years on end, alone, without connection, walking in the valley of the shadow of death in a kind of loneliness drab of sorts. And all of a sudden, you can go from these decades where nothing happens to weeks when decades happen. Love at first sight requires the very sign of its suddenness, wrote Roland Barthes. The curtain parts, whoosh, and what had never been seen is devoured by the eyes. It's distinct, abrupt, framed. It is already a memory. And what I mean by this is that these encounters, <laughs> these collisions, these juxtapositions, these transitions from decades where nothing happens to weeks when decades happen is the best potential rendering, the closest approximation in language that I think exists to the ways in which, in which a, a love collision, the ways in which romantic passion can take hold of us, friends. It's, 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 <laughs> what is Faulkner? Faulkner talks about the writer's futile yet noble efforts to fit the world in a sentence. Because in these moments, there is a kind of psychedelic telescoping of reality, a reverse dolly shot where you go <laughs> And that's why Roland Barthes says it's distinct, abrupt, framed, and already a memory. I mean, it's a, it's a literal encounter with the Mysterium Tremendum, you know? I mean, love at first sight is an encounter with the Mysterium Tremendum. It's a, it's a time-stopping experience. You step off the people mover carrying everyone else towards death, and you become like gods outside of time, commingling with one another again, freed from the trappings of time. I mean, again, in these moments, everything changes. And crossing the threshold, moving from black and white to color, from, from liquid to solid, you know, this, this, this obliteration of what once was to make room for what now is, well, this experience is simply amazing. But I think it's important to acknowledge its telescoping qualities, its reverse dolly shot properties, the, the characteristics of a, of a heightened qualitative intensity of being that happens in these moments. Romantic passion should obliterate. It should annihilate what once was to make room for what now is. And I guess, and I guess the reason I'm, I'm speaking of this is because I'm standing, I'm standing at a, I'm standing at a kind of at an intersection, I'm standing at a at a fork in the road. I'm standing at a, at a at a at a ravine of sorts, and there's a kind of a leap of faith that happens in this moment. There's a kind of leap that says, "I am ready for this kind of psychedelic telescoping. I am ready for for experiences that 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 that, that crack open my heart, and that that are the instantiation of going from from decades where nothing happens to weeks when decades happen. I'm ready for this kind of joyous trans." transformation, for this moment of ecstatic illumination, to meet the eyes and the mind and the heart of another, to, 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 to see myself reflected in the faraway look in their eyes, for a Duchenne smile to, 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 to emblazon itself upon me. I'm ready to meet her and I'm ready for it to have these properties that, um, that surprise and that overwhelm and that overcome. And, uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it should feel, friends. These, 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 you know, when Martin Buber talks about I, it, and I, thou, 
encounters, you know, I, it are the trivial and the instrumental and the everyday, how you doing, how you doing, how you doing, and then I, thou are an encounter with a person's soul. I am ready for my soulmate, soulmate or no mate. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say that, I wanted to share that, and hopefully you can relate to, uh, to what I speak of. Thank you for listening. There are decades where nothing happens. And remember, there are weeks when decades happen.